So, ordinary angels. You brought the idea, right? You, Phil. This, mm. this is Phil. I wanted Phil to Garner. write this song for a long time, and um, I don't know, finally put it out there for you guys, and you, Victoria loved it. Emily hated it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not true. It's not true. I think we were playing around with a little. Um, we were playing around with that little. <laughs> Yeah, we were doing that, and we were trying to figure out what would go with that. We I knew mean, it was going to be hard. I mean, with the title like yeah, that, you knew it was just we how do you tackle like, this? Right. How do you tackle that song? And it's kind of like I threw it out to probably like twenty-five people, like thirty people, and mm -hmm. I knew it would be an important song, you know. And uh, but the trick was finding finding the verses, like finding what the what the story was going to be, and making it realistic, but yet not cheesy. And that's, yeah. it's hard not to cross that line. So. Story songs really scare me because they're really easy to either cheese up so it's not genuine or get almost too personal so there's not this universal message. And um, So yeah, I was probably kind of hesitant. Well, it's really just a song about um, normal people helping other people. And it happens all the time, you know? And I think God works in all of us in different ways and we just don't always recognize that that's what it is, but there's always help coming to us from different places. I think too it's really easy to pray for the easiest answer to a prayer, whether it be you know just having a bunch of money handed to you or just have um, a traumatic event in your life be erased. And I think the song is about the little moments and how just because the prayer isn't answered in this grandiose way doesn't mean that it uh, wasn't answered. We were in Huntsville, Vic and I, playing a show, and uh, one of the hosts of the event was honoring Sergeant Ray Ropa and his family. Uh, and we played this song, and afterwards, uh, Sergeant Ropa pulled me aside and said, you have no idea, I suffer from PTSD, and..." My little boys are the only thing that keeps me going, and this song just nailed it on the head. He said he was like crying in the background, and I think that that's what is the amazing thing about songs is when they yeah. become much bigger than any of us. I mean, we wanted to write this song, but we didn't think this was going to be some big message yeah, that I mean, would touch so we many were, people. We, we relate to it in our own way, and we yeah. wrote it from that perspective. But other people will maybe hear it and relate to it in a different way, which is what makes it so. So exciting being a songwriter in the first place, knowing that you're putting something out there, and sometimes you feel a little bit more like a, a conduit than a creator of something. Yeah. Message wise, I feel like it's one of the biggest songs in my catalog as far as the ability to uh, really lift people up out of where they are. So, what is it about the three of us that makes us click as a writing? The magic mojo. The mojo. Magic. It's like everybody kind of plays a little bit of a different role, I think, with the three of us, and we kind of fall into our pieces of the circle that fit together. Uh, Phil feels like the guy that if he's not in the room, it's not going to happen the same way. The moment he walks out of the room, he takes the mojo <laughs> with him. And Emily has this beautiful, beautiful melodic sensibility, and the way she plays piano just brings a whole other element to the things that, that we write together, so I love. And I think that Vic just has a lyrical sense that uh, elevates both of us probably from we come from more of a pop sensibility where the lyric yeah. maybe sometimes takes a back seat to the melody and the vibe and Vic really has a strong lyrical sense that has really I think helped both of our games. Well, written by an American, a Canadian Emily. and an Australian. We got we it's got the global song. It's a global, it's a global song. song. International, <laughs> international <message. laughs> That's the great thing about the special message song. It's like, you know, everyone around the world, you know. People in Australia can relate to it the same way as people in Canada and people over here in Nashville. And let's hope it goes all around the world. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your ordinary angel? That's a good question. Emily. Kelly Phil Phil. Seriously, like, I mean, you guys are, you guys are my ordinary angels. I, I get to come to work every day and pour my heart out to people and connect with them and go somewhere really spiritual and amazing and and I I don't know it's it's changed my life to do that so 
we've definitely that's cried. A, that's a really good before. point. It's like the bond you have writing these songs with people. Yeah. It really is pretty special. Mm -hmm.